Question number 15, we have a filament lamp, uh, which is 120 volts, 60 watts. The lamp is connected to a supply so, it's light, so that it lights normally. So what this means, the 120 volts and the 60 watts, is that it's designed to be used with a 120 volt supply. And when that happens, it will draw a power of 60 watts. So which of these statements is correct? The charge passed through the filament in one second is two coulombs. Now, charge per second is current. So if we can work out the current here, that will give us the number of coulombs flowing uh, per second. We know that P is equal to IV. I is the current and V is the voltage. So we can rearrange I equals P divided by V, which is 60 divided by 120, which is 0 0.5 amperes or 0 0.5 coulombs per second. Either way, statement A is incorrect because it says two coulombs. The lamp transfers 60 joules for each coulomb passing through the filament. Now a joule per coulomb is a unit that is equivalent to a volt because a volt is defined as the energy per unit charge. We know the voltage here to be 120 volts. So actually the joules per coulomb would be 120, not 60. So statement B uh, is incorrect. Statement C, the lamp transfers 120 joules in two seconds. So power uh, is equal to energy transfer or work done divided by time. Here we have a work done of 120 joules divided by two seconds gives us a power of 60 watts, which is correct. So C will be our answer for completeness. Let's just have a look at D. The supply provides 60 joules to the lamp when the current is 2 amperes. Well, that's as a statement that doesn't really uh, make sense. It doesn't tell us over what period of time the energy is supplied. Uh, and in any case, we know that the current is, is half an amp when the power is 60 watts. So D doesn't really make any sense. So the answer is C. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.